Hey guys, so today I'm going to take and make a stand for a brand new extruder. Um, I'm going to fix up uh, an extra extruder for those machines so that if I have any problems in the future, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up this extruder, get it all set, and then I'm going to swap them out. And then that way I can work on this other one, do some things to it. But I picked up uh, this GTEC MK8 extruder. I picked up on eBay. I'll uh, put a link in the video description. And uh, it's got the original 38 millimeter uh, throat on it. I'm going to end up switching that out to a 50 millimeter, and I'm going to do some uh, do a little something with it. I just want want to see if I can add some washers to that to give it a little bit of extra cooling on that part. But uh, that'll be later on. Right now, I'm going to fix up a stand for it, and I picked up also this uh, GTEC mounting plate. It's a uh, matches the same one that's on the on this unit and I'll put a link to that in the video description where I picked it up on on eBay they're only like two or three bucks and of course they ship from China so it's not something you get over overnight but if you have time to wait for it it's no big deal when I get done getting it all set up it's just going to be where I'll just take out the two screws off the back side of that one and mount this one right up there and just hook the wiring in but I'm going to fix up a stand so I can have it all mounted and then do some new fan ducts and stuff like that on it you know and just kind of play with it here and there so I already went into uh, Tinkercad and I created a stand for it so I'm going to print it out right now and see how it turns out and so I'll see you at the end of the time lapse Okay, let's take a look at it. it. Looks like it printed really good. There's no issues with the curling. Oh wow, it came right off too. Now the question is, will it fit? Yep, it looks like the holes match up. Let me grab a couple screws here. some shorter ones. It's going to be a little bit long. Let me see if I got something that's a little bit shorter. Okay, so I don't have any that are shorter, which is all right. Well, I'll just use some the longer ones for now until I uh, pick up some. Now I'm looking for my little bits. Find one here that'll fit the Allen head. There we go. Actually, that might not be so bad. If it interferes with the extruder, then of course I'll have to uh, go with some shorter ones. I'll have to find out exactly what size these are. That sized up pretty good. As you can see, they they said in flush. Just need to get them get the shorter pieces. 
Let me see how the extruder sits on there. Actually, it fits on there. I am going to have to take the screws off and or, or get shorter screws so it'll fit where it's supposed to. Because I don't believe it's going to mount up right for the mounting holes. Hmm. Oh, that's right. There's another plate i got to get. I forgot about that plate. Anyway, I'll get the plate for it. Get it mounted up right. Anyway, that's my stand. Put the little MK8 down there. <laughs> anyway, that'll give me something I can I can mount it on to to work on it, and uh, I'm gonna put the longer throat on it. Gonna, I'll, I'll turn this piece here around so that it's facing the back like the my other extruder is. Um, that way, from the camera with the camera angle, it works out a lot better having the no, this longer part toward the back, so that it's easier to see the nozzle. And then now it's just a matter of coming up with a new fan design. Uh, I wanted to go with dual fans, so I'm debating whether to take it this way, put a fan here, a fan there, off of this 45 degree angle, or to mount it on the side at a little bit of an angle. The only thing is, I'm afraid it'll hit these Z rods if I do. As you can see on this one here, it's not a whole lot of room there. So I kind of think I'm going to have to go at a at an angle, you know, from the front. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day.